a member of CARS, a member of Houston County Protectors as well. Remember we left off talking about the damages potential resulting from an exposure to the risk of financial soundness and viability of the rail transport network in North America. The Associated American Railroads made that statement back in June of uh, 27, 2014. What is the opinion of the Federal Department of Transportation regarding the risks and levels of rail industry insurance coverages? As reported by Timothy Tanner of The Hill on August 6, 2014, quote, New safety rules for the oil trains proposed last week would not mandate higher insurance levels than the current $25 million <coughs> common threshold in the industry. But the DOT analysis released along with the rule found that all the costs of all train disasters would exceed this threshold. Do we have any idea of what the truly catastrophic event would tally on the insurance and actuarial lever, uh, ledgers? Well, we can come pretty close. New York Times reporter Betty Morris on January 8, 2014, in her expose entitled Fiery Oil Train Accidents Raised Railroad Insurance Worry states, quote, the insurance world considers the Magante incident not a truly worst case scenario. At this time, the liability costs for Ontario are reaching $2 billion with a $200 million cleanup. James Beardsley, with Marsh and McClellan, the premier global insurance advice firm with solutions and risk and insurance said, quote, there is currently not enough available coverage in the commercial insurance market anywhere in the world to cover the worst case scenario railroad derailment. What is the last most current accident record growing to know from the Federal Railroad Administration? In its Office of Analysis, it compiled a summary of all U.S. railroads reporting the accidents and responsible damage for the months, inclusive of January 1 through January, uh, July 31st, 2014. Burlington and others' total accident count was 251. Acceptable damage reported $44,451,533. Four killed, five injuries caused by the following. 31 equipment failures, 12 highway railroad crossing run-ins, 121 human errors, 6 signal defects, 47 track defects, and 34 other. Burlington Northern was second in number of accidents, to Union Pacific being number one. I have an addendum printout of this report which accompanies my comments here. I can give out a couple if you want. What is the upshot? Under insurance caused by enormous risks imposed upon the rail in, imposed by the rail industry by the common carrier obligation is to make the point that substances going up and down this river into our marsh are frightfully harmful and deadly. How are we going to fix that? I think we need a really strong environmental assessment up and down the entire Mississippi River Valley, and we're part of it, and we deserve it. Thank you, sir.